But without a radio set, though, it's not easy to detect these waves, and most scientists didn't believe they existed till just over 100 years ago. What finally convinced them was an experiment performed by the physicist Heinrich Hertz in 1887. It was first demonstrated in Britain by a scientist called Oliver Lodge here in the Royal Institution. Hertz used very big sparks created by a, a machine like this called an induction coil. Could you turn it on, Bill? This was connected to these metal plates with another spark gap in the middle and uh, this acted as a sort of aerial. This was Hertz's receiver. It's simply a loop of copper wire. Well, the big spark uh, creates radio waves with enough energy to make a tiny spark jump across the gap between these balls in the receiver when they're held very close together. So, um, if I hold these in position. OK, Bill. If you look carefully, you can just see the spark jumping across the gap. These sparks are so tiny that Hertz had to let his eyes get accustomed to the dark for 15 minutes and then watch the sparks through a magnifying glass. His apparatus only had a range of a few metres and he had no interest in finding any practical uses for it. <laughs> 